Yeah, so um, the glymphatic system is um, it's a pathway that was discovered um, uh, about a decade ago now. So the way this pathway works is that um, cerebrospinal fluid takes a more active um, kind of role in the brain. So it's thought that the CSF uh, penetrates the brain parenchyma and it, and it, uh, in, in, it exchanges with interstitial fluid via this kind of in, this para-arterial inflow mechanism. So the cerebrospinal fluid kind of moves into the brain, exchanges with the brain cell, uh, the brain interstitial fluid, and is cleared out of the brain via this paravenous efflux mechanism. So um, this movement of fluids kind of from the arterial side to the venous side, as it moves across by convective exchange, it's thought to um, clear interstitial solutes from the, the space in between the cells in the brain. And so um, what we've been working on is the role of the system in neurodegenerative disease, so in Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease mainly. So um, we published a paper um, a couple of years ago now, which shows that in a mouse model of Alzheimer's disease in, in tau accumulation, uh, this system becomes impaired in specific parts of the brain. Um, and we've been looking at um, a water channel known as acroporin 4, which is thought to be the kind of main regulator of this system. And we've, we've showed in that paper that the the localization of that water channel goes awry in this animal model of, of, um, of tau accumulation.